You do, and that's what it is. You gotta just get used to the fucking patterns. sort of swung around. I know that I, I know he he didn't necessarily hit hard all the time, but on that he did. I have a hard time with that my left. Not because of any shig, but because I just can't really fucking do it. <laughs> but I'll keep working on it. This is, I love these Camcos. I just, I, love, I have jillions of them. That's the wrong one. I didn't mean to put that one on. Which one did I mean to put on? Okay. Here's a Camco with a strap drive. Let's see how that works. Strap on the strap drive. Sorry about the delay. Here's a word from Twix. It's delicious from both sides of the factory. This is a lot like a Speed King in a bizarre way. The strappy one, it feels so Speed Kingish. I've never really played with it before, I don't think. Maybe I have. It feels like I might have adjusted it. Alright. So, anyway, so. There's the pattern. Da da do do da do da da do. One. I think, I don't know. So. Turns the feel of it. 
Sometimes it can switch to the to the opposite. Boom ba and tatin do da and tatin do da da do boom ba ba boom 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 switches like the one ba and two and the three and the four and the one. exercise but for the more advanced and you know to be honest I'm not even there to play that all right let me put this one the good thing about this again is you're passing back the accent from the right to the left of course you know, like the great exercise from the right to the left from the right to the left but I think you got to be, and I'm not, a little better to, if you want to make it like a simpler sort of um, engine, or regular military style. So. I think that exercise as such should be done by people uh, who are further along than I am, I should say. Um, but I think it's a great exercise if you have that control. I do not at that speed. So, but, but, but to practice it in a loop, just like the regular Herda, that I, my, the one I think is a, a better Herda to think of. Just loop that with your, with, with your right hand for a while as the lead, but then go to your straw, or your weak hand, or your left hand in my case. 
its own speed that the left arm is comfortable with. Because remember, at least with me, uh, I mean, I feel like my right and my left side are miles apart, apart from, you know, the, the benign tremor, you know? I've really, of late, been wanting to really baby my left hand and, for the love of God, move it along. But anyway, the two stroke thing you get from Molar. Ish, I mean, because it's kind of a spectrum. Finger. The ones are better for different accents. The first in the, in the double. The accent on the first one. Better with like a molar smack, I think. I think molar folk who really know will tell you that. And then when it's uh, the, the second accent or the third accent, I think this one comes in here. The drop, the push pull. For that. Of the, the accent on the one, okay? So, stick them any way you want. It's a really good thing to work in there, I'll make this fast, is when you do tr uh, triplets, just put one and a two and a one and a simple things, but instead of, you do, you do doubles in there. The latter half, the latter third of a double paradiddle or whatever. That's it. But just use two strokes in one hand or two strokes in the other hand with the idea of which the pull or the molary will be more helpful for the ad accent. So. The second two strokes are the doubles are with my weak hand or another hand, but they're in the and ah uh, section. I'll, I'll personally try, I think this is better. Again, I want to get that faster, okay? So I, yeah, I won't force myself to do it too fast. You think of it almost like you know, it's conditioning. Like weightlifters or whatever, if you can do your max of, you know, 315 or whatever, and you can do your 70% of that, do like 225 like five times, and then you can do like 135 like 97 times. Well, think of your left arm that way. It's like you want to do more for stand, like slower, not hard, but just slower. You get it going comfortably. Anyway, the triplet. Smack is hard. I do it better with my. Anyway, bring the triplets in. If you do the R R L or the L L R, use more of the molar top. I think it's. I think it well. The accent truly stays there. Sometimes you'll morph it. Of, of skill with it, it, eventually my left hand sort of went out where to put the accent. After I do it from it without thinking about it, it'll be more like. That stuff I find to be true about my playing, and probably with other people too. Key is anyway, slow it down. I hope the middle of the video was good for the rock and roll thing. It just kind of came out. I actually was just going to tape this, kind of get the sound of my red sparkles I temporarily set up. Um, but I'm going to put this video up just to see because I think that rock and roll stuff was really helpful. Thanks.